everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Sarah Vargas coming to you live, pre-recorded from a suburb of Chicago, Illinois. And I mention this because in one of my uh, very recent videos, I was all like, hey, if you guys wanna see a video about how, you know, meeting guys or gals or whatever, meeting people online, like about, you know, how to go about it and insecurities you might be feeling about it, holler at your girl. And you went ahead and hollered at your girl. So. Um, because of that, I decided to do this video. So, I have lived here pretty much forever. I've done a few stints living in Mexico. Um, but aside from that, I pretty much always live here. But uh, my first boyfriend-ish type of situation, um, R.E. the catfish incident, uh, which I'll link that below. Uh, he was from New York, so we met online. And then my first legit real in life boyfriend, boyfriend was like, he lived down the street basically from where I grew up. And then um, after that, I met another guy online again from New York. And when I say I met, I mean I met these people in person. Um, and then it was, uh, who was, who did I date after that? Oh, the kid's dad, which technically I also met the kid's dad online. Um, slightly different than the other people because he lived down the street as well. And then um, the last guy that I dated, I also met online. So. Damn, there's a bit of a pattern there. Now, I'll start by saying that I have never had a uh, like dating profile. I've never done online dating. So, um, the reason I, I need to mention that I think is because if some of you have done online dating and you have had to describe yourself and put you know, your height and your body type and this, this, and that about yourself. Maybe you're kind of fudging the facts a little bit or, you know, maybe you're not, I don't know. But I've never done anything like that. I do have dating profiles, but they're all shells and it's just to report people that are using my pictures. So, sorry. I'm not on any dating sites and if you've seen me on any, let me know. You can email me down below and just send me the link, okay? I love taking those down, especially when they're on back door or is it back page, or whatever the hell it's called, but you can imagine what it's about. So, when I was a little bit younger and a little bit more insecure, and before I really had any sort of presence on the internet, meaning my face, my body, videos of me talking about sex, like before this stuff existed and no one could just Google Sarah Ray Vargas and be like, oh shit, now I know whether or not she wants to take it in the ass or whatever it is, you know? <sighs> what a bad example, that was such a bad example and I'm not gonna redo it. Okay, that's my example. So, um, before all of this existed, before you could just look me up like this, um, you know, I got to decide what information I gave whoever I was meeting online. So I think the first guy, let's, let's just talk about the people I actually met um, in person, you know? So, the first guy, he lived in New York and I think when I initially started talking to him, it was on like a chat room or something. This is this is kind of what happened, right? So me and my boyfriend went to Ikea and there was a sidekick, this is a long time ago, there was a sidekick shoved into a couch or something. So anyway, we're from the hood, it is what it is. So he took the sidekick and we went home and he gave it to me. You know, he popped out the SIM card. Like I said, please don't judge us, but I mean, we grew up, I grew up poor as fuck and that's life. So um, he gave me this phone. And the phone, I'm like, I'm awake, stupid. So the phone, I'm like, what I had at the time, had like instant messenger and stuff on it. So, okay, now let's pop back over. So I met this guy, let's call him Nick, okay? I met Nick on um, like Yahoo chat or something, whatever, we exchanged screen names, but I was pretending to be someone else when I initially met him. And then um, fast forward to maybe a year or so, maybe two years later, and I get this sidekick, and the sidekick has like AIM and Messenger and all this other shit on it. And that wasn't something that my phone had, and it wasn't something that I was using anymore because I was in a relationship and I didn't care to talk to random strangers online. Um, but when I got that, I signed into my old account, and boom, there was Nick, okay? So he, and it was right um, right after I got the phone, I bro ended up breaking up with the boyfriend that I was with who gave me the phone. Um, so. We started talking, yada, 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 
And in my head I was like, did I ever give him a picture? And if I did, was it a picture of me or was it a picture of somebody else? And I couldn't remember. And so it was really an issue, you know, like in my brain I was going nuts. And then he asked for a picture and at that time I decided to send him a real picture. And I did. And he would ask me shit like, mind you, I was like 18, 19 years old. Um, he would ask me shit like, oh, uh, what bra size do you wear or something? And I'd be like, oh, my dad told me to never tell people my bra size. And I was like, first of all, my dad ain't nowhere to be seen. And second of all, the fuck? Like, that's some weird, I don't know, fatherly advice that someone would get. God, I was a bad liar back then. He would ask me little questions here and there. Oh, how much do you, you know, I, I want to say he'd ask me at some point how much I weigh. Um, but basically what ended up happening is that I'm sorry, I hit my camera. What ended up happening is that he knew that I had given him a different photo, but when I did give him my real picture, when we started talking again, and we actually started talking, and I was being open and honest about things, I wasn't lying about stuff, we did develop a relationship, and it wasn't until much later that he even told me, hey, I know you gave me a different picture when we first started talking, and I was like, oh shit, but this was after we met and everything. Um, but. Before I went to go see him, which we were talking for a long time, and I don't advise that you guys just get up and go out and go meet somebody, and I don't care if they're gonna fly you out, I don't care, like, you need to be safe because you really never know somebody, you know what I mean? I just want you guys to be safe. Be safe with your bodies, be safe with your emotions, with your mental state of mind, basically, because someone can really fuck with you when you're insecure. So, um, not that you are necessarily, but if you are, so basically, please be careful if you're gonna go and meet someone. This is what I did, okay? So we talked and talked and talked, probably for about eight months, I wanna say, and then I decided to buy a plane ticket. My parents knew who he was, like I had mentioned him before, you know, and um, people knew that I was talking to him, my friends knew, they had his phone number, they had his name, I had looked him up, we had video chatted a bunch of times, so we had seen each other in video. Um, and we, you know, I was basically about as safe as you could be. And I also went and I uh, booked my own hotel. And, um, I stayed at a hotel right by the airport, which was just better for me. And I made sure that I had enough money to get home, to get around, to do what I needed to do, should this not turn out to be so great. But, um, I went and it was fine. I mean, the relationship was bleh and the other stuff was bleh, but... Um, it ended up safety wise being just fine. However, before I went, trust me, I was going through hell because um, in the video chats that we had done, he had only seen the top half of me, really, and I felt like I was trying to be skinny, and I mean, I'm not skinny, and I never have been, but I just felt like I was fronting, you know? Sorry, <laughs> I had breakfast plans, and I gotta confirm. <laughs> anyway, I didn't wanna like, I was just afraid because the pictures that I had sent him were very much not full body pictures and I want to say when I did send him a full body picture even that probably took me about 150 pictures like I still have that folder saved on one of my hard drives of this photo that I was trying to send to him and I had to like take it and take it and take it and edit and move and move my body and move my little sweater a little bit and move my jeans and like just position myself differently because I was just trying to look as thin as humanly possible. Oh, it doesn't help that he was actually very uh, small. So he was a very small guy. No, that's not a bad thing, but it didn't make me feel even worse because I was probably at my highest weight. So, um, you know, we met and he still picked me up and flung me around. I think that was him just like kind of showing I'm a man kind of thing. But, um, you know, it was really, it, it was really difficult for me. It was difficult in my brain, but just know that this person, seriously, they probably know what you look like. Like as much as you think you're playing these games, you look so thin, you don't really look like that in real life. Like as much as you think that, they probably know what you look like. And, oh my god, it would make me so uncomfortable when he would talk about, like, when we were on the phone, he'd be like, yeah, girl, I'm gonna pick you up, I'm gonna pin you against the wall, whatever. Why do I get so into it all the time? Like, I feel like I, there's no, okay. But we would do that when he would talk about stuff like that. It would make me so uncomfortable, because in my head I was like, no, you're not, please don't try to do that, it's gonna be so embarrassing for both of us, da da da, and like... You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Like these cringeworthy moments where like this guy thinks that he's about to flip you and flop you around and this, this, and that, and you're like, no the hell you're not, that's not gonna happen. Um, yeah, okay, so I went through a lot of that, but just know that seriously, it's not as bad as you think it is. Please be safe when you're meeting people online for the first time. Um, and for me, I, 
honestly, now, now, like this was six, seven, eight, shit. How old am I? I'm 26. So this was like six years ago, seven years ago. Um, now it's a lot easier to communicate and video chat and do stuff like that. Like our connections were awful. It was very difficult back then. We didn't have camera phones and shit. Um, so now I would seriously suggest that you do this stuff online. Just meet online first. You know what I mean? Meet virtually through video first. Like show your body. I don't mean like TNA kind of thing. I just mean get up, stand up, Show him more than just that part of you. You can stand up and you can show that, hey, this is what I look like, this is what I look like, this is how big my ass is, this is what I look like. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be embarrassed of who you are. And if you really think that when you meet in person, that it's going to be, I done fucked up my whole camera angle. <laughs> if you think that it's gonna be a big problem, then I highly suggest just getting that uncomfortable shit, basically, out of the way first. Now, um, next, I'm gonna talk about the kid's dad. I met him on Facebook. So, Facebook is a little bit different, right? Because when you meet people on Facebook, so he friended me, we had a mutual friend, it was actually my best friend was our mutual friend. And with Facebook, it's different because you can see pictures right away, you know? As soon as you say, yeah, okay, you're my friend. As soon as you tell people that they can be your friend on Facebook, then they can go through all your shit, they can see all your past relationships, all the drama, if they wanna go far back, like, so it was a little bit different. But with the kid's dad, I also had that same uh, apprehension, which I I uh, virtually met him, so we became friends on Facebook. We dropped some messages back and forth. We exchanged phone numbers. We started texting, and then he was like, "Oh, I live here," and I was like, "Word," because I live right there. And uh, so I went and I met him one day after like a job interview or something. And I remember being so nervous, and I had on like this one pair of jeans that just fit me so right, but I still felt like I was portraying. Like online, I wasn't as fat as I really was in person, you know? And I think this is something that I I'm guessing a lot of us go through. It doesn't help when, God damn it, iPhone, shut the fuck up! Okay, I'm so sorry. I have not had any coffee or anything today, so I'm on edge. But um, I think it's something that a lot of us go through where we feel like our online version of ourselves is not the same as our in-person version of ourselves. And even now, I sometimes feel like that, although a lot less lately. I mean, this is what I look like today, and if you come and see me next Friday, I'm probably gonna have a full face, I'm gonna be, my waist is gonna be snatched, okay? I will have all sorts of spanks on and everything else, because I'll be at an event, okay? so. Um, it's not that I'm two different people, it's that these are two different looks for me. And so that's really how I see it now. But back then, I always felt like this is that perfect or as perfect as I could make myself a version that I have online. And then the real life version is always going to pale in comparison. And the real life version is going to be a disappointment. And she's going to be fatter. And her skin's not going to be as nice. And her hair's going to be a little more scraggly. And her eyeshadow is not going to be popping. You know what I'm saying? So. I think that's something that a lot of us go through, or at least I definitely went through it a lot. And I still, like I said, I still kind of go through it, but now a little bit less so because you guys see me in video and you, like you just saw, I stood up, there's no photoshopping, there's no video editing like that, that really changes the way that I look. So uh, try to realize that these are in fact not two different people. Now, if you are pretending to be someone else or if you are seriously editing photos or like if you're trying to make yourself look really different through editing or through just straight up pretending to be someone else then obviously this does not apply to you but if you're being yourself and you may think i posted a really nice selfie but that's not really what i look like honey it's still really what you look like it's just what you look like when you hit that light when you got that light on you when you look you know you just sometimes you just got good lighting you guys have seen that episode of seinfeld you know the bad lighting episode you know what i'm talking about Two Face. Yeah, so that's real life, okay? Sometimes we, we have to be two-faced and sometimes it's, you looking real good here and over here. Ugh. So just know that it's, you're one, okay? You are one person. Now, I will give you a better example now. I don't wanna say better. It's not better in terms of the examples are better, but better in terms of how it went. So um, recently, about a year and a half ago maybe, this guy reached out to me. He said yada, 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 yada. He asked me a question and it was so bizarre. And I was like, not bizarre, like gross or anything, but it was just, I was like, what the, why the fuck are you asking me this? This is so dumb. So he asked me this question and then I responded and then he responded and blah, blah, blah. So we ended up exchanging phone numbers and about a month and a half later, I went and met him. 
maybe two months. No, it was about a month and a half. About a month and a half later, I went and met him in person. Now, I was 25 years old. I had just turned 25. And um, I Googled his ass. I'm going to be real with you. And we had FaceTimed a bunch. And um, I was feeling very trusting of him. We spoke on the phone a lot. I was feeling, I was getting good vibes from him. So I went to go see him well before we established a serious long-term thing, you know? Whereas when I was younger, I was definitely making sure that I'm gonna talk to you every day for about a year and then we're gonna go hang out. I'm gonna go to your city and we're gonna meet or whatever. So this guy, I flew out to see him or <laughs> as, my, as my friend likes to tell me, you got flown out. Yeah, I got flown out, okay? So <laughs> um, I flew out and uh, we met and I actually stayed at his house. I did not stay at a hotel. And um, you know, that that was a little bit more risky in that we hadn't spoken to each other for as long. But in this day and age with the internet, as long as you have someone's name, their location, you can look up whatever the fuck you need to look up, okay? So I made sure I looked up stuff and I was like, all right, this is straight, straight, straight. This is good. We're good. We're all good. So I felt confident in being safe. My, you know, my, my, my body was not going to be misused or something. Like I felt good about the trip, um, which was not to say that nothing bad could have happened. That definitely could be because you never really know people. But um, I felt pretty safe, like it was gonna be okay. So and it, and it did end up being fine, and we did see each other a bunch more times, and um, you know whatever we fizzled. But uh, but that was a different situation. So I'm not saying you have to wait a long time before you meet someone, but just be really careful when you do meet someone online. So remember that your online self and your IRL self are basically the same person. Okay. When I see someone online and I meet a guy online or whatever, if he sends me pictures of his body or whatever the hell it may be, okay, it's hard to, it's hard to flip it around because girls do things differently than guys do. But, um, you know, when he sends me pictures or whatever, I see him in a FaceTime or whatever, when I go to meet him in person, I know what to expect. It's not like I created this warped version of him in my brain and they're doing the same for me. They're not creating this entirely different version of me in their head so that when I go to see them, suddenly like I'm not as good as what they thought I was gonna be. But just know that online self, real self. You guys are the same fucking person. Just one of them might have better lighting sometimes. But you know what? For the most part, actually 100%, anytime that I met a guy online, oh, there was another guy I met online. Let's not get into that. His real, mm, no, let's not get into that. <laughs> so um, anytime that I met someone from online, they always tell me, oh, you're so much prettier in person or you look so good in person, da 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 da. Like they're always happier with what they have in person, especially because in person they get to touch you, they can smell you. I smell good too. I've been wearing Chanel number no. five lately. It's intoxicating. Anyway, um, you're always gonna be better in person. I want you guys to feel confident about yourselves, confident enough that you're not totally beating yourselves up about going to meet someone, especially most likely someone that you're already in a relationship with, you know? So, um, or, you know, not necessarily boyfriend, girlfriend, 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 boyfriend, boyfriend type of thing, but like in a relationship where you guys are already obviously mutually attracted to each other, that really takes away some of the anxiety, doesn't it? When you know the other person's already super into you, like then you're like, nah, you want the goodies. Like you don't have to be super, super, super anxious about it. This is not a blind date. It is the first time you're meeting them, but it's not a blind date, you know? Like, you know what they look like, they know what you look like. You already had many discussions. So, um, anyway, that's all I have to say for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit all over the place and I'm super fucking sorry for that. This is not my style, but I need to go get some breakfast. So, I will see you guys in my next video and let me know if you have any topic suggestions or anything. All right, see ya.